Uh, hi, let's look at how to update the um, file properties in Microsoft Word documents. It's a pretty important thing to do, particularly um, when you're releasing business documents into the public domain. Uh, let's take a look at how we do that. So if you open up a document in Word, you do. So we have a file here called the Clarity blog template, the gold version. And it's showing us different things here, like when it was modified, the type, but also more important information such as the authors, the title, and different tags. And if you right click on the column over here, you can you can add in different um, pieces of information to view, um, such as date created, categories. And also if you click on the more, you've, you've all these other options here that, that let you see different information, say the word count, for example, um, right click on that. And um, it gives you a snapshot of the document, um, which is interesting from one angle. Sorry, it gives you a snapshot of the document and shows you, say, the author and so forth. But the important thing to remember is that also when you create a PDF of this document, it's all of this information uh, is retained in the PDF by default, unless you turn it off. So let's look at how we um, can change those settings. So if I open it up here, I'm going to change the title section. It's blank at the moment, so it says enter a title here. Let's change that. So I go in here, and if you go to File, and on the right-hand side, you have all these properties. So I have the author, the last modified by. Um, you can right-click on these and remove the original author if you want to, or edit those. Um, it depends what you want to do. But let's change this guy here. So I'm going to change the title to the blog checklist template version 1. Um, if I click Show All Properties, there's more good information on here. It tells me the original template was based on. Um, I could put in the status. The status could be something like, say, draft, uh, approved, in review, final version, whatever you want to. And it's a kind of metadata you can include that helps you later if you want to search on documents. And also, like I said, when your document goes out into the public domain, you probably want to make sure all these fields are included. Another important reason is that if you, for whatever reason, reuse a document you received from some other company, you might want to remove their metadata from your document before you send it out. So a small thing to bear in mind. Okay, let's save that and we'll close it. And if we go in here, you see it says now in the title tag, column, sorry, blog checklist template version one. So that's it. Um, the metadata for your document, you can change it all. You can view it. And it's something to bear in mind when you do create those PDFs later on that all this information by default is retained. So in another tutorial, we'll explain how to turn that off. I hope that helped. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.